Hey guys, Mixed Media Girl here. So, um, yesterday I did the pour with the cat toy and I did it this direction. This is one of my dollar store series. And I just wanted to show you guys how it dried. Um, the neon pink that I'm using is fairly old. So if you see the little kind of chunkies, that's from that. But it's still just beautiful. I love how the colors dried in this one. So thought I would show you. I think it looks awesome. And I am going to try this again, same colors, with the toy the other direction, which is how I was supposed to do it <laughs> in the first place. Um, people did suggest that I try a different color combo, but I kind of really wanted to try that same color combo. So I still have this bowl here, same bowl from yesterday. I also wanted to show you guys that I, for my last class, I actually made some of my own pre-mixed pouring paints and I made my own colors like this is a custom color it's actually like a an orange yellow gold and I sold these at my class and so because I don't have enough to do you know I was thinking about coming out with kind of a line of paints if it's something that you guys would be interested in so I'm just using one of my whites that was left over from that and I did get more yellow mixed up I'm actually doing a longevity test on that paint right now to see how long they will last before I officially jump into selling them. Okay, yellow. Then we've got the hot pink. Hopefully I can remember all the colors I used. And the red. Oh, red is almost empty, so might have a bit more, a bit less in this one than yesterday. Some of that Arteza bronze. I just was so happy with how these colors went together. All right, but more of the white. And there's definitely more of that yellow in there now. So colors won't be exactly the same. At least not the same amounts or anything. And we're gonna pour it this direction. I think I saw a flow trawl chunk in there, so good thing we're pouring through like a strainer type tool because that should catch it. Yep, there it is. <laughs> There's something in my white. Cool. Okay, I'm going to let this sit for a little bit, let it keep moving around. Get my paints out of the way while it's doing that. Okay. And I've been asked this before many times, but yes, you probably should strain your flow trawl. I usually don't, um, just kind of out of, I guess, laziness, but it's really not a bad idea. Like, look at that. <laughs> That's a flow trawl booger gross <laughs> anyways but they're also pretty easy to pick out of your painting so it's not the end of the world either way here we go and yeah if I sold them like the premix paints I would definitely have to strain everything all right here we go so this is definitely more of the pattern that hers had and if you guys didn't see that video from yesterday, check it out. I'll put the link in the description. A bit less red in this one. Okay. I'm really liking this though. Really happy with these colors together. Beautiful. All right. I'm going to let this sit here for a little while. Let it do its thing. I see some of that bronze might be having some different reactions, but we'll, we'll see, and then we'll come in for our close-up. All right, not as much changing as I thought would be. Um, let's do our close-up. So starting on the lower right-hand corner, and I definitely put more white in this one, and then of course more yellow, so I think, I'm not sure if I like this one better it's definitely different I I do love the patterns on it especially this section up here how beautiful that is 
Um, but I think I actually like the colors on the other one better. I like the pattern on this one, colors on the other one better. But really pretty still. And there you have it. Okay guys, stay tuned for the next Dollar Store Series video. Plus I have one coming up soon on sealing your paintings and going a little more in depth on that. Let me know in the comments, please, if there are any specific topics that you would like to see covered. And of course we'll be continuing with the Dollar Store Series, but you know, if there's some specific video you would like to see within reason and I'll see what I can do. I'll see y'all next time.